Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You are learning with Dr. Shobha Nikam. In this video, I will tell you how to design sequential circuit for given state diagram. So generally state diagrams are given as uh, state names are represented as S0, S1, S2 or ABCD. And then our first step is to identify how many flip-flops are required to design this circuit. But here in this state diagram, Already state names are represented at 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. It means state assignment is already done. So here you can see how many bits are used. Two bits are used. One flip-flop can store one bit of data. So here we need two flip-flops to design this circuitry. Then here you can use any flip-flops. I will show you how to design this circuit using T flip-flops. Simple toggle flip-flops. So, very first step is to write state table from the state diagram. So, what we have? We have present states. Let's say if input is 1, then I, I know what next state is. So, in state table, we use present state, present input and next state and output. So, left hand side of this slash is input and right hand side is output. So, I will write state table first. So see state table is present states are Q1, Q0. See I need two flip flops. So I will have two outputs Q1 and Q0. Then this is my input X. These are next states and this is my output Y. I will take two flip flops. So T1 and T0 are inputs to those flip flops. So I will complete present states first. Total I have three variables. So here 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 and here 4 times 0 and 4 times 1. Okay, so these are my, this is representation of my present state. Now see, based on this diagram, I will write next states. So see, when my present state is 0, 0 and if my input is 0, x is my input. If input is 0, then my next state is also 0, 0. So next state is 0, 0 and my output is 1. If present state is 0, 0 and input is 1, this is my input. If input is 1, then next state is 0, 1 and my output is 0. If present state is 0, 1 and if input is 0, then next state is 1, 0 and output is 1. If present state is again 0, 1 and my input is 1, then next state is 0, 0 and my output is 1. Here, if my present state is 1, 0 and my input is 0, then next state is again 1, 0. System will remain in same state with output 0. But if my present state is 1, 0 and input is 1, then next state is, it will go back to 0, 0 with output 0. So, this is my state table. Now, you can see 1, 1 is not present in my state diagram. So, there is no next state for it. So, I will mark it as don't care. Now, we know present output, we know what I expect, expected output, what I, I need to identify is inputs and for that we use excitation table. So, here I will write excitation table of T flip-flop, QN is my present output, QN plus 1 is my next state output and then what input I should apply here, 0011, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, see here, present output is 0, I want same next state output, so I will apply T as 0. Present output is 0, but I want one output, next state output 1. So, output must toggle, for that I should apply 1 at the input. For 1, 0 also, I should apply 1 here. And for 1, 1, present is 1, next also I want 1, so I will apply T input as 0. So, that next state output will remain same as present state. So, this is excitation table of T flip-flop. So, by using this flip or excitation table, I will write values. For T1, I will compare Q1 with Q1 plus. So, here you can see 0, 0. So, for 0, 0, T1 is 0. Again, 0, 0. So, T must be 0. 0, 1, it must be 1. For 0, 0, it must be 0. For 1, 1, again 0. Here you can see for 1, 1, it is 0. Then, for 1, 0, 
for one zero it must be one for one don't care don't care and for one don't care don't care because when next set outputs are don't care inputs can be any zero or one don't care means it is designer's choice to consider it as one or zero for t zero i'll compare these two so for zero 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 for zero one one for one zero one for one zero one for zero 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 for zero 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 and then don't care and don't care now let's put these values into k map and let's find out the equations these are my three k maps for t1 t0 and this is for output y in k maps we use gray code so here it is 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 okay then you can see 0 0 0 is 0 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 1 is 3 0 1 0 is 2 1 0 0 is 4 1 0 1 is 5 triple 1 is 7 and 1 1 0 is 6 so whenever we put values in k map the sequence is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 so let's start with t1 it is 0010 0010 0010 then 01 don't care don't care 01 don't care don't care similarly i'll put all values first and then we'll do grouping 0111 0, 0, 1, and then 00 don't care don't care 00 don't care don't care for y it is 1011 1011 and then 00 don't care don't care while grouping in k map it is important to group all ones so here i have two ones so i'll make this pair either you can make groups of adjacent ones or overlapping ones and here i'll make this pair so for t1 equation is here for this pair q1 and here what is common q0 is 01 so can't take q0 because their values are different x is 1 1 here so q1 x plus for this vertical pair it is q0 and value of x is 0 so x bar for t0 here i'll make one chord group of these four and for this one i'll have to make pair so equation for this pair is q1 bar because value of q1 is 0 here and what is common here x plus for this chord it is q0 for this y we can make this chord and for this one we will make overlapping pair it means if i'll fold my k map from here this one and this one will get overlapped so for this chord i'll write equation first it is q0 plus for this pair it is q1 bar x bar q0 01 so can't take q0 x is 0 0 so x bar i have equations for inputs and outputs i'll draw two k maps the two flip flops two t flip flops these are my two t flip flops then fsm is sequential circuit so i'll connect single external clock to both the flip flops okay so equation for t1 is q1x plus q0x bar it means i need one or gate and two and gates so here you can see two and gates for first and gate input is q1 into x so i'll take q1 from here this is q1 into x for second it is q0 into x bar so i'll take x bar from here and i'll have to take q0 here from here so i'll take this q0 so second is q0 into x bar and here it is q1 into x this is my input x and this will go to t1 
So this is my T1. Next is T0. For T0 also I need one AND gate and one OR gate. So here output of this OR gate will go to input T0. One input is Q0. So here I will connect Q0 here. So this is Q0 only. Another is Q1 bar. So I will take Q1 bar from here. And here X will come. So e either I can take X from this point or I will simply write X here but I will take it from here. So this is X. Next is now T1 done t0 done next is output y so y is q0 plus multiplication means and gate this is for y one input to or gate is q0 so i'll take q0 from here so this is q0 one input another input is output of and gate and inputs to and gate are x bar and q1 bar so one is Q1 bar and another is X bar. So here output of this NOT gate is X bar. It should not go inside the gate. So this is simple implementation of clocked sequential circuit for given state diagram using T flip flops. So you need to remember very first step is when the state diagram is given next part is state table after state table by using excitation table you need to identify values of inputs to flip flops by putting those values into k map you will get equations and then simply you will have to implement the circuit by using these equations the important thing is here single external clock will drive all the flip flops so it is very easy thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like to this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you